When Carillion went under, it took other companies with it. This decorating firm managed to stay afloat by laying off staff. It's one of 30,000 suppliers Carillion owes money to. It turned out to be nearer to 150,000. Uh, we know we're not going to get that back. And um, so we've now had to reorganise the business to work around that. Mr. Howson, you back, your Mr. Howson. back? Carillion's directors told MPs the company was well run and got into trouble when several clients didn't pay bills on time. But MPs blamed them for Carillion's failure. Three directors are singled out. MPs accuse Richard Howson of misguided self-assurance. He was, they say, part of the problem. They conclude Carillion's former finance director used accounting tricks to paint a rosy picture of the company and got out before it went under. And they judge that Carillion's chairman, Philip Green, was delusional in his upbeat assessment of the company's prospects until the very end. All three men insist they acted properly. The directors of the company were pursuing a policy of reckless corporate greed and they were prioritising uh, paying big bonuses to themselves, um, increasing the dividends at a time when the pension fund was going increasingly into uh, deficit. When Carillion went into liquidation, construction sites fell silent. MPs say responsibility for the company's demise extends beyond the boardroom. Carillion's annual report and accounts were published last March. They show the company in good health and were signed off by the independent auditor KPMG. But just four months later and everything began to go spectacularly wrong. MPs accuse KPMG of complacency. KPMG says it acted appropriately, but MPs believe the big four accounting firms wield too much power and is a case for breaking them up. I think too. Uh, most readers, they would be uh, surprised that a company that got a clean audit report actually uh, got into difficulties so quickly after the year end. But this was a complex company with a complex audit. Carillion was a private company delivering public services. This hospital in Birmingham will be built eventually, but it's still not clear when or by whom. Joel Hills, ITV News.